Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Being Real. I am Joe. Get used to the face. Get used to the pace because we move quickly so that we can quickly move you down the path towards your own financial independence. And today we're talking about the hidden, what do we want to call it? Uh, hidden secret? I don't know. Nobody likes a bad secret. Uh, but we're going to call it uh, the hidden reason why we're going to see an acceleration in the foreclosures coming in early 2023 in the real estate market. And I'm telling you right now, everybody, it's the HELOCs. And if you're not familiar with HELOCs, that's a home equity line of credit. The home equity lines of credit, these are second mortgages that are taken out against your home uh, for use for whatever purpose you want. So say you have a $200,000 $200,000 home and you owe $100,000 against it, you go in and get a $50,000 line of credit, a home equity line of credit against the home and you can write a check for $50,000 to yourself or to your friend or whatever you want to do with it. Pay off credit cards, which is a big thing people do with these things. They pay off other debt. But the point is, uh, you go in and you get these things, you leverage them against that, your home. So... The problem that we see that comes up with this is, especially this past year, we've seen the savings rate drop to 3.5%. 3.5%, which is normally I'm a safe where we like to see it is around 5%. And you're thinking that's not that big of a deal. That's a huge deal. And I'm not going to get into it. Why? If you want to know more about economics and how the savings rate affects income and, and inflation, those things there's a lot of other videos out there, not by me, um, that'll explain it to you. I understand it just enough to get me into trouble. So, but just take my word on it. Three and a half percent is really, really, really not good. You have the savings rate that went to three and a half percent at the same time that you have inflation going to double digits. And that's what's happened this year. You had inflation fly up to double digits. So savings rate of three and a half, inflation at 10 or 11 combined with this HELOC syndrome that we've seen. And for those of you that weren't around before, weren't there in 2008, we saw the same thing. This is another handwriting on the wall. Nobody's talking about it, which is, I don't know. Again, I go back to Michael Burry's uh, deal in the great, uh, in the big short, Uh, you know, there's certain places and certain institutions that want to prop these things up, especially as we're coming up on the midterm elections. Neither side of the aisle want to see the real truth bear out before the elections. And that's one of the reasons I believe that no one's really, really concerned about this because you're looking at a home equity lines of credit in the first quarter, I believe is the first and second quarter, I stand corrected, first and second quarter of 2022. These home equity lines of credit scram, and this is nationwide, went screaming upwards screaming upwards to 800,000, 800,000 equity lines of credit were taken out against people's homes in the first two quarters of this year. This is as the correction was just starting. This is as the economy was just starting to hit the tank. Remember, they're talking about quarters two, the second quarter, and everybody was saying was that when the recession was going to start. Well, a lot of people were smart and ran out, like I always tell people, get an equity line of credit when you don't need it, because when you do need it, they won't have it. And these banks issued this 800 and something thousand equity lines of credit in the first two quarters of the beginning of a downward cycle. It's just it's crazy. This, by the way, this 800,000 uh, equity lines of credit is over $100 billion. Honestly, I think it's a $130 billion, $130 billion uh, is lent out on a depreciating asset. $130 billion was wisely lent out on a depreciating asset. Yeah. Highest rate since 2000 and when? Seven which was the year prior to the collapse, right? 2007. What happened in 2008? Everything went completely sideways. So while I understand the reasons why people have been doing this, and we have to go back and and, and look at it. Um, You're talking about average middle-class America and 
their inability to keep up with this inflation rate. I mean, it was bad enough before where they couldn't keep up. And it was, you're talking about two paycheck households and everybody's doing everything they can, but they're not able to keep up. It's just too much. This is post COVID. Um, and post COVID, the uh, inflation rate's going up because everybody went back to work. And what they're doing is spending a lot more money. Spending a lot more money creates inflation, so forth and so on, blah, blah, blah. But you have this cycle that has started, and then folks run out. And to make up for that offset or that difference, and most of the time it's debt, they're creating, they're not taking money out of their home and spending it at the local county fair, they're paying off debt that they've created. They've run up their their Visa cards, they've run up their MasterCards, American Express, whatever it is. It's not un, not at all, not at all unlikely to see people running around with ten, twenty thousand dollars in credit card debt. And you'd want to get rid of that. And they have these great introductory offers that you know they give you a one percent for the first 180 days or whatever it is on these things. And you've got twenty thousand dollars in credit card debt bring up at 22% or 18% or whatever it is. And you can get that reduced down to 1% for the next six months. It's a no brainer for most people. The problem is you now access the equity in your property and you don't really have a plan on how you're going to repay that because you're still just struggling to get by. So this is what has happened. You're living paycheck to paycheck and the home equity lines become available because property Values did what? They went up because of the COVID and the lack of stuff that was on the market. The inventory was low. Prices went up for no other reason than that. They went. There was a couple of reasons, but it wouldn't have taken anything more than that. Inventory going low will drive uh, prices up, just like inventory being high right now is helping to see the market correct. There's a lot more uh, inventory on the market and a lot less people buying because interest rates are up so they can't afford the prices the way they were let alone the where the prices were going it's different video anyhow so you have these home equity lines of credit that are just sitting there like a ticking time bomb that's right what's going to happen what's going to happen when the ferris wheel stops and now that these introductory rates are over what's going to happen these things are going to go to the standard market rate, whatever they are. And these folks are going to be right back to where they started, except they leveraged their houses. Yeah. 800,000 home equity lines of credit in the first two quarters of this year, folks. That's just the first two quarters of this year. How many hundreds of thousands of homes are in serious jeopardy right now? And will be more so as the winter comes on. And the recession deepens. Now, just to let you know, that you see, you want to look at the numbers and more carefully, it's just like my other videos, I'll tell you, starting on the West Coast, this is where the majority of this stuff is. Your Seattle, Washingtons, your Las Vegases, your Los Angeles, uh, uh, Phoenix, Arizona, so forth and so on. But it's just like everything else. It will do as it did last time, and it's going to spread east. It's just like the wind blows. comes in off the Pacific Ocean, and as it works its way across the country, it's just the way it's going to be. So that's what you have, and that's what you're looking at. So those are the real numbers. Please, please, on that bad news, <laughs> please hit the like button. Did you like that bad news? If you like being informed of the truth, please hit the like button, and please hit the subscribe button so that we can help other folks by getting this information out to them as soon as we can. Help us get it into the algorithm and help YouTube pump it out and help us out at the same time. Sure to appreciate it. All right, everybody, enjoy your day and look for our next video. We appreciate that you came along for the ride.